Hello everyone, hope uh, everyone is doing well. So today's video will be discussing Watson Assistant Discovery and the Search skill. So I just logged into my account. We'll go to the resource list. Um, from there we'll open the Watson Assistant service. So I'll be showing you a few steps uh, uh, before we implement the search skill like uh, how to create an intent. So someone who is new into it will help help them so as you can saw I just launched my mm, Watson uh, assistant uh, uh, service and then I'm creating a new assistant I have some old assistant created but uh, let me show you from from the beginning so that everyone can can follow the steps so I, as you see I just created a new uh, assistant under my account now I have do you see there are two things one is skill and another one is uh, search skill so I also have some skills add, already added but I will create a new skill which is actually a dialogue skill which where we will actually put the different dialogues uh, the conversation flow actually so I will name it today's dialogue skill let's put the same in the description so my dialogue uh, skill is ready uh, now let's get into it let's create some uh, conversation flow and based on that I will see how you can you can implement the search skill along with your uh, with your conversation so as soon as you created the normal dialogue skill these two default skill comes in which comes with hello how I can help you uh, what I will do that I will create an intent first so you need to go to the intent you need to click on the create intent give it a name uh, in Watson assistant try to follow um, the naming convention uh, that's important when you have multiple intents it will really help you manage those things so I just created a intent called user input and I'm I'm putting some possible response which a user can possibly put on this chatbot um, so I'm just putting something related to cosmetic surgery and plastic surgery uh, that's uh, let's try with with those uh, conversation flow so i have added uh, quite a few uh, examples for this uh, intent which uh, a user can possibly type and uh, the, the chatbot will actually learn from here uh, so you need to type different different types of intent not something very close to each other then the chatbot would not learn anything if you want want it to be intelligent you have to try to type different type of user example so uh, now after I created the intents I will create a node uh, so I actually need to, I will create two nodes uh, one after one uh, the first note what I will do I will try to catch the, the users input and on the next note uh, I will uh, throw the answer uh, you know uh, it can be done in one mm, within one intent I am just uh, doing it with two different uh, uh, using two different one as you can see the first one will catch it and if it matches then it will jump to the second one and the second one will hold uh, the the response text in it and also have to put the same intent um, if assistant recognize and here i will actually put uh, the response that it will give so for as i will be explaining you the search skill so i'm writing and, and response something I'm creating a conversation something like that user has given an input which the chatbot doesn't know the particular answer and he wants users permission to check the knowledge base and get back to you and checking the knowledge means means use the chatbot will actually use the search skill or you can call it uh, discovery assistant what uh, I mean what's an assistant discovery so I have written something that sorry this this time I cannot answer you answer this question would you like me to search my knowledge base you can actually put multiple variants of that response and 
I will discuss these things more in later. You have options like, uh, uh, as you can see in be just below that input box, there are sequential random. So you can make it random so that every time a user comes to your chatbot, it will throw them a different type of response which makes the chat uh, sounded like it's more personalized it's not sending the same response same time uh, every same every time same so there are a lot of options available to play with your response type uh, i will do a different video for that where i will explain all type of uh, assistant responses so as of now I have created two response and uh, I have also added the intent if if assistant recognize so let's uh, give it a try uh, on the tryout panel so hello how I can help you um, if I type that Sorry, this time I cannot answer this question. Would you like me to search for the knowledge base? Uh, you can uh, instantly call the search skill within this response. But what I have done here, I have asked the user, do I search the knowledge base or not? If he says yes, then we will search the knowledge base. And I will also show you how to add the knowledge base. So I'm adding another intent. Uh, so this C is for the yes, so it is for the assertive answer if the user gives. So user can possibly say yes, uh, user can say sure, user can also say yes please, user can also I think can say go ahead and you know user can also say mm, no. So if a user says no, we should maintain a different conversation flow which I am not showing up here. Uh, because my main focus is on the assistant discovery or search skill so uh, i'm catching the user response by creating a node like i just did before i will if assistant recognize and hash yes and then i will create another uh, node where i will put the response just below it uh, I, i'm creating another response So there actually after they say yes actually my search uh, skill should come up so that's why I'm putting the name call search skill and uh, the interesting thing begins from here uh, that now I have to show you that how you can enable the search skill so when you create that you see that just below that you have an option to search skill so I will create a new search skill I have already created one uh, I will show you how to do it so that it helps you when you are doing it on your own. So you have to put a name for the search skill, you have to put a description and then as I have already created you see I web crawl kpn wg 144 vl I have already created but I will click on the create a new collection just to show you. Uh, so I will click on the let's get started. So here are a few things to uh, see that that the, this discovery has a lot of ability it can get into a database with IBM cloud object storage it can actually search from the Salesforce it can actually search from the SharePoint online it can search for Dropbox kind of a things which call box but for us we will use the web crawl we want to put a URL here and we want to fetch all the data from the URL and store it under the search skill and we want the response to come out from there so here I have uh, taken a, a blog which is in the plastic surgeon and it has a head lot of blogs out there for uh, for different categories so I will copy that URL and paste it here and then I want the the since frequency is per day and uh, obviously the language is English so as soon as I, I add that, uh, it will start crawling that uh, that website. It has a huge number of uh, blogs available there. So it will take some time to bring everything within 
uh, within the search um, skill which you just created uh, so there are other options within this uh, it will show if any errors comes up while doing it it also shows that how many it has scanned so far so it's pretty it's pretty robust now uh, as you can see it's increasing uh, it's, it's happening uh, right now so now what I will do I let it happen I will go back to my mm, uh, sir my assistant and I will add the search skill into this assistant so for that I will click on the add a search skill and uh, this time it it's also asking me to create add a new one but what I will do I will proceed with it uh, but I will still use my existing uh, existing one because that search skill is still taking information so what I will I'm doing here that I have that web crawl here so I will just click on that configure so now as you can see this is important that how that search when someone is putting something how that result appears so it appears like that the title body and the URL so I just click on the create so that uh, it comes appear on this particular assistant so as you can see now it's showing it showing up here so now if I click on it uh, what I was just telling a few seconds back that it has uh, all this title body and URL and this is how it will show and this is the message below which will show up before it shows the results from that particular blog I searched my knowledge base and found this information uh, yeah so again that's important so now I'm going to uh, my particular dialog blocks and I, I'm going to call this particular search skill so I have to go to the particular intent and uh, what I have to do here I need to go to that uh, particular search skill and I need to put that intent if the user says yes and then on the response type I have to select search skill so that's how it, it actually responds from the search skill when user says yes so let's try it out mm, so let me put something I want to know about plastic surgery sorry this time I cannot answer this question would you like me to search the knowledge base let's say the user says yes yeah so the sir it's working the search skill is being called you cannot see uh, this search result on your tryout panel for that you need to actually go uh, to your preview link or uh, you can also uh, you know go to your um, integration panel where it also shows uh, in, a, in, in a short of a preview so this is where you go to create the, the, the embedded code uh, to that script which you can use in your website so the chat appears on your website on the right hand side corner so I just enable that web chat integration thing and now you can see on the right hand side it it came up that uh, so this is just a preview section so now I'm typing the same thing and I will show you how the search skill uh, how it's the reply is coming from the search skill So the response came sorry this time I don't have any answer would you like me to search the knowledge base so let's say the user says sure and then immediately the search skill get called and it it, it brought up three relevant uh, search results from the uh, from that particular blog link that I have given and if you click on in any of these boxes it will directly take you to that particular blog which you can you can read out from there so the basic thing of, of that search skill or discovery is that and this is the, the script which I was telling you a few seconds ago 
and and these are some options which you can manage the 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 ui of your chat you can name it whatever you want you can choose different color option for the response bubble and the chat bubble you can put your particular logo and everything so i will save change from here and that's all about the search skill uh, thanks for listening i hope you understood we'll catch you on my next video thanks bye